Hey, how's it going? This is Fred, and it's come to my attention that on YouTube there's not nearly enough videos about the Angle 50, uh, Thunder 50, uh, all tube head. And I wanted to throw something out there because I've figured out kind of a cool modification for it. A way to make it for me a little more usable. Uh, hope this works out sound-wise. Um, Angle calls it a three-channel 50-watt head, and I kind of disagree with some of that. I think it's really more a one-channel 50-watt head with three modes. It's um, clean, crunch, lead, sort of, you know, low, medium, high gain. Uh, but what to me makes it a one channel amplifier is that there's only one gain knob and there's only one set of EQ and the difference between clean and crunch and clean and lead or crunch and lead those differences are all kind of preset there's no variable uh, control to uh, for example if, if you wanted to have a clean setting with a little bit of grit in it you are going to then have a lead sound which will be like pretty far over the top and you know it's it's cool sometimes but it but it takes away a little bit of flexibility uh, the amp has just gobs and gobs of gain um, very clean quiet hiss free gain it's pretty amazing actually um, but I found I came up with a, a kind of a cool modification to to bring the two overdriven channels, the crunch and lead, down a little bit gain-wise, and that was, um, uh, it's, it's a tube amp with uh, 5881s for outputs and then four 12AX7s, and found out that, by the way, the circuit is set up, if you substitute a 12AY7A for the 12AX7 that is in the number two position, you won't affect the clean settings, but you will dial back the two crunch settings. Um, and it kind of gives the uh, those settings maybe a little more character. We'll see. I'll demonstrate this. I've got it set now with just a little bit of grit on the clean sound. sort of normal, normal, what's normal for me, uh, gain settings and EQ settings. I should turn this up a little bit more. Um, and that's with a little bit of grit. And I'll, I'll put it on, on position four and give you a little more um, the pop sort of uh, way to do that sound. <laughs> Switching over to crunch, like I say, it's, it's basically a one-channel amplifier with three master controls um, and foot switchable options. So crunch, which is the mid-gain sort of option. <laughs> character and if I was to uh, carry it over to lead mode which is the most gain and if you saw at the be very beginning of this I've got the gain set at probably like 230 so there's still more gain to go top end wise where normally I would have the gain up around noon and not really much past noon because the the gain on the lead was was heavy duty um, but here's, here's the lead mode, and this is the gain at like about 2.30.
files, even though there's uh, uh, hum canceling circuitry inside it, uh, yada yada yada. But I got to say, though, this amp, once you rain the three gain settings together, and all it was was putting a 12AY7A or 12AY7 in the number two position, and I think it could probably be dialed down a little more with a 12AU7A. I think the mu on that is less yet than a 12AY. Uh, just um, thought I'd throw that out there as a, as a as something to look into. I, I don't see them much anymore. I have a feeling you'll be able to pick them up used pretty soon because um, I think they're going to be going pretty cheap. I think they might be starting to phase them out. I've not seen them in uh, uh, Guitar Center or Musician's Friend catalog for a while and I'm not sure they're a big player on Engel's website so I think they might be being phased out. Yeah.